You're watching Fox 13, and the 11 o'clock news starts now. We are closer than ever to a cure. We're closer than ever to vaccines. It has been 40 years now since the start of the AIDS epidemic in America, and while much has been done to slow the virus, a new report shows Florida is leading the way in new HIV cases. You know, Florida has been at the forefront of the discussion over how to respond to COVID-19 in the U.S. Now it's leading the way in a virus that was first discovered four decades ago. The latest numbers released by the CDC are from 2019, and they show that Florida has the most number of new HIV cases in the U.S. are not leading in the way that the state would like to be leading when it comes to this virus. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live now to tell us how advocates in Tampa are reacting to this news and what efforts are underway now, Evan, to get those numbers going back in the right direction. Well, the number of overall cases are down, but of course, as you said, Chris, this is a category that nobody wants to be first in. Both Hillsborough and Pinellas are going to be getting extra attention from the federal government to make sure that we can clamp down on the AIDS epidemic once and for all. It says something about stigma of HIV AIDS that it took Alejandro Acosta six years to tell anyone he'd been diagnosed. Like most people, I took it really, really bad at the beginning in terms of mostly the isolation and also thinking about my own mortality. Now the Fort Lauderdale policy director for the Southern AIDS Coalition says treatments are so effective at warding off the worst consequences and even infection itself that AIDS has fallen off the front page. We are closer than ever to a cure. We're closer than ever to vaccines. But the tempered urgency has the unintended consequence of allowing new cases to fester in Florida. The CDC said last week that in 2019, Florida had 24 cases per 100,000 people, compared to 13 nationwide. Florida is third in that category and first overall in new cases, with 4,400. People are willing to take the risk because it's not a death sentence anymore. The federal government has categorized 48 areas of concern, which include Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. They promise extra resources to try to limit infections by 75% by 2025 and 90% by 2030. We feel a pressure um, in having all of these programs like, you know, it, it's up to us to bring the rates down. It's up to us to get the education out there so that people make better and more informed choices. Overall cases are well down from 130,000 in 1985 to about 36,000 today. Acosta says the talk about COVID has also helped restart interest in AIDS prevention. HIV had really almost disappeared from public discourse, and now people have a different language and vocabulary that, are, that make talking about HIV much, much simpler than it was. And one thing advocates are waiting to see is whether COVID had any impact on the rates of trans, uh, transmission. Rates had already been dropping by about 8% between 2015 and 2019 nationally. It'll be interesting to see whether COVID had a further impact on that. Guys, back to you. Sure will. All right, Evan Axelbank with uh, some important numbers about Florida's HIV battle and efforts to bring those numbers back in the right direction. Thank you, Evan.